almost lost game one, and they have the to at least play this a little bit more cleanly in the early game because execration in the early game Welcome from game one Legends. was insanely good. If they could replicate the same success that they had in game one, that could be great use for them. And right now, we are entering the land of dawn where a lot of players right now aren't really playing aggressively. Most of them just want to try to secure the objectives that they need to be able to reach that early power spike. And again, this is a matchup that everybody's looking forward to. It is at the max. It is Kyrie, And it's the uh, Farsa versus the Eve. It's uh, going to be, uh, um, I think, a very exciting match the moment they reach level 4. Pre-level 4, it's just going to be someone poking each other out. Yeah, um, Tap Wisely. Uh, that is the, uh, I think that's the name of the uh, game here for both of these teams. It's uh, still hard to tell though if we're going to see a game number three or if we're going to see a complete 2-0 here because the lineup for both of these teams are really well-rounded in all stages of the game. They have different objectives, that's for sure, but Kelra might be in trouble here. Yeah. Jay with a 2v1. His objective to is to stay alive. He will get taken out. And Ethomax kind of slow in there. Will potentially take down Jay does not have a lot of damage there. He's still not level 4. And that could have been Onyx surviving, but that one lone auto attack coming in from Execration that gave them the first blood, and now Execration will be ahead in gold, mainly because of that kill in the bottom lane. And that is also a kill going to the side of Jay. Would have been nice if uh, it went to Marky to uh, get that little bit of da that little bit of advantage in terms of gold in uh, his pockets. But um, we are seeing the rotations on towards the turtle here. One second in, turtle is up. Execration already having, uh, actually Onik having a good uh, priority over the turtle themselves. But the threat of Chaknu is still pretty, very much real. He's not level 4 yet, so it's not much of a threat, but it could still be a steal. Never mind, they will not go for it. Yeah, and as you said, Chaknu is not yet level 4. It's not a smart idea to try to contest a turtle if you don't have your power spike just yet. An Atlas without the Fatal Links isn't a threat at all, as you said earlier. So Chaknu really needs that level 4 before Execration tries anything aggressive in this game because so far, if you look at their composition, the Link and the Farsa are the only ones that could go aggressive, especially with Renzio on this box shot. But let's see how they're going to rotate in this game. Glar is forced out to dash, and looks like he's just going to cut the lane here. Has the power to do so as well. And he, Glar is playing, I'd argue, one of his signature heroes as well. So he'll pretty much have confidence over Renzio here in the side lanes. He should come out on top against our Renzio here in the side lane. And we'll have to focus on instead Marky and Marky and Etomax, not Etomax, Kelra over in the uh, bottom lane. There, it's a uh, it's an objective that uh, it's a matchup that we have to look forward to because they will add a lot of DPS as the game progresses. Aside from the Eve, aside from the Farsa, yeah. and Execration do have the the turtle priority for themselves as well. And speaking of the turtle, that's gonna spawn out 35 seconds from now, which means execration. They do establish good control in this bottom side. Might be a turtle for free against Onic PH. Marky will have to I think request assistance from Monic PH the moment that turtle spawns because looking at how Execration is moving right now, they're just gonna take or push a little bit in the mid lane and immediately transition bot to try and get Kelra and then secure the turtle. Look, but look at Lar in the base just disrupting everything. That's uh, as deep as a cut as it can go, and it's it has to give a lot of opening for Onik to finally contest. The turtle themselves, they are wonderful with applying a lot of pressure for uh, his team to really succeed. Now the turtle will be started out by execration, and Onik PH they are in prime position to go for the retake here. Real world manipulation will be thrown as well as a better air strike. The Venn diagram is going to be thrown out. Execration will come out on top. What a fight! Beautiful four man fatal legs coming in from Chakno, allowing Kio VJ to go ham in the faces of but Onik look at PH. Lar. The Lar in the back line, so we'll be able to take down Renzio, but it's Kyrie going win. back. Kyrie's going back. It's not enough. It's it's a win for Execration in that fight. Yeah, Execration not only secures the turtle, but also secures 
three kills as well on their side. Execration with an uh, with a great miracle setup, but I feel like that feathered airstrike won't really land. We're gonna hop on to an instant replay real quick. We have to have a second look at that fight as this instant replay is brought to you by Oppo A94. Where is Chaknu? Still invisible inside that brush. Onyx PH, they don't know where Chaknu is until the final moment where he just comes in with a lot of movement speed and then boom! Gets three people in that fatal length. The damage rains in and just Onyx PH losing a lot of members in that one quick engage coming in from Execration. In Execration right now, the fans are going wild. This is the classic Chaknu set that they have been waiting for. And that destroyed. is a sign for Onyx PH. So really, A, that's not group up as a team. It's it's a threat. We don't want Chaknu to get another one of those. And Chaknu has been consistently nailing those when he when he was still consistently uh, picking up the Atlas as well in the earlier seasons of the MPL. And right now, on PH, they have still a good ground against Execration. Just a 600 gold lead, but Flar caught out of position in the mid lane, and that's gonna be a kill for Execration. And it looks like Execration finally finding the edges that they need. Nonic PH, I feel like the win condition for them right now is to just give Marky the space to earn more gold and potentially carry on this Harith. And look at this though. Again, we just gotta have to go back to the composition here. It's a Bruno and a Harith. They hurt in the late game, as soon as they get, actually even in the mid game, as long as they have the items already, as long as they have two items on themselves, they will start to hurt, and that is a threat here for Execration. And speaking of threat, Execration actually picks up the Dominance Ice, which is a big counter against Onyx PH, considering that both Marky and Hate does need attack speed to be able to deal more damage inside the fight. So this is great a great itemization coming in from Renzio. Uh, we have to expect Kelra to come out with the Necklace of Durance as well uh, to dampen the healing that Jay will potentially give out to his team. Good itemization here from Execration and uh, good holds here from Execration actually. They're not overextending themselves in the fight, but yeah, let's have to give props to Chakno. He is the primary threat here. Uh, for Onyx PH. You need to make sure that if they are engaging, Chaknu is nowhere near them. And the moment the flicker is up for Chaknu, it's always going to be a big threat against Onyx PH. So Onyx PH, I feel like the call here is to just avoid Oh, look at this. Three fight. members are all together. The Fatal Links will not be forced Zama Force. out. But the Zama Force was forced out. That's a win for Execration. And no kills in the top side. Great rotation coming in from Execration. The defense coming in from Onyx PH allows them to stay alive. Better there, Strike. Chaknu's looking for it. He gets two. The Fatal Air Strike lands Woo! perfectly on top of those two members. Oh, Jay will fall down. And Chaknu is low. Kill VJ as well is low. Renzio will be diving in towards the back lines. And Kelra just doing a good job. Just sustaining a lot of damage here for Execration. And Execration. They immediately Red find two people with destroyed. the Fatal Links, and this is the scary Chaknu form that Onyx PH do not want to see. And speaking of do not want to see, the Harith does not want anything to do with Chaknu. Just goes out in the top side, stays in his lane, gets a turret down for Onyx PH. But Execration, not only did they get a turret in the mid lane, but they also got two kills. That means Execration won that trade, and looks like they're going to get the third turtle of the game as well. This is looking really good for Execration. This is a what? Uh, this is sort of a look of how Execration was during Game One, uh -huh. but with a major difference being them being very aggressive Blue in team, team fights, mm -hmm. and destroyed. that is enabled by Chaknu, also getting a dominant size for himself. And Atomax on the Necklace of Durance, and this is very good itemization coming in from Execration. You just gotta commend that. They really do respect the healing coming in from Estes. They still respect the damage and the attack speed coming in from Bruno and Marky. And that respect gives them enough knowledge to just counter a lot of these things with the items that they choose. They're spending their gold wisely. They're rotating nicely. And Execration, they're building a, sur a good amount of lead with just 3k right now going into 10 minutes. Look at the big difference here though. It's uh, Bruno with 5,000 gold to his name, 6,000 on the side of KelVJ, but even more so, look at Kelra having 7,000 in his pockets. And it's a big lead. That's a lot of gold. Three locked in items for Kelra as well. 
that is a lot of items as well for Kelria. That does mean that this Lunox will hurt like hell. Already the Lightning Truncheon and the Necklace of Durant. As well as the Clock of Destiny. You know what? If you just pull out the Order of Brilliance, just go out in front of a lot of people, that, that's gonna hurt, Blue that's for sure. Execration does have the lead, but let's go back to what happened in Game 1. They had the lead as well. They pushed. They made mistakes, and they lost the game. Execration could not afford that. They're already inside this game where they have a good amount of lead. They don't deserve another heartbreak like this one unless they let it happen. Chak Nudo, already in a mindset that they want to close this out. They're really zoning out on a PH from even having an attempt to uh, get the Lord themselves. And they're focusing on the bottom lane to really just not give the Lord that space creating place, not enable him to uh, get a lot of space for Onik BH. As we see Onik really trying to go for the rotates here over to the mid lane, we spot out Kelra and Kyabide, and it's not working out well from them. The Lord is surrounded here though. Yeah, the that's four people Kiel coming BJ in from Diving in on top. But no, five. Five, just Where standing on the turret, and that's the turret going down. And they don't even damage Lar. They know that Lar is a very tanky hero. B1 That's the real world manipulation. The flicker out by Chakno. And Chakno can re engage B1. So there's the response to the real world manipulation. Get the Fetter there, strike out. And th that response actually triggers a stalemate near that Lord. But Onic PH, they're pulling this Lord towards them, but they're not actually going to start it. Still, all of the lanes are quite protected for the side of. Onic PH, but Execration has been stellar in rotating around the map. Look at that mid lane and bottom lane. Unblemished turrets. Unblemished turrets from Execration. And what's even more unblemished here is uh, Chaknu's current hit rate with mm -hmm. the uh, Fatal Links currently hitting all of the Fatal Links with nobody even surviving. So would you say that it's a Fatal Fatal Links? Yes. Moving I, I forward, take that as a execration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, going back to this game. 12 minutes in, and we are looking at an Onyx PH that is still looking a little bit on the defensive side. Meanwhile, execration, they are just going ham on this game. They uh, will be resetting the Lord. They know for a fact that they're baiting Onyx PH into a Lord fight that Onyx PH cannot handle for now. Yeah, so they, it's they just. Do I mean, they do have the Necklace of Durant, means this Estes won't be able to heal as much as he wants to. Oh, it's gonna this. be big. Chakno will just be baiting out, just uh, making Onik fear for their lives for a potential Fatal Links coming in from uh, Chakno. The Lord is down to half HP, will be reset. Kelra oh being the main God. problem, almost Woo. takes down the Lore in the process. But this resets the Lord, actually. Now the Lord is back in full HP, and that means Execration will need to take some time off before they go for the fight again. Chaknu isn't spotted just yet, but look at this. They're already half HP. Kiel BJ is low. And this is also the Feathered Airstrike out of commission. A small opening for Onic PH to really go in for the team fight. And Chaknu trying to look for the members here. The Lord right, getting oh, bursted out oh. will not uh, die in the process. But meanwhile, you see KLVJ just doing Ling things and just split pushing. I mean, this is the same thing that Execration did in Game 1. They were able to get a good amount of lead in the early game, but Onic PH was the one that had the Ling that just split pushed the entire time. So Execration, they're giving Onic PH a little taste of their own medicine in Game 1. But let's see if Execration could actually pull off the win this time because Execration, they are looking hot on those team fights and execration they could definitely do even more damage but speaking of damage it's a 14 minute mark and we are looking at a late game phase where we have a bruno and a harith and this is like the third time that we saw a, a dance a, sh a showdown in the lord pit area because onik recognizes that if execration secures this lord uh, it may be another turn it may be an inhibitor turn for themselves and they will try to counter this. They get not Execration actually gets knocked off by the Lord. The real world manipulation will be thrown out as well as the Fettered Airstrike. We Marquee's have down. yet to see a beautiful Fatal Links. We see it now onto the Lord and Execration is winning this team fight. Hate will fall down. It's just Kyrie left alive. There's nothing much this Eve could do. A 5-4 none so far. Eve gonna try to buy time. There's no 
real world manipulation that could save him in this trouble. Anthem Box trying to cancel out the recall. 1v1 on the mages, but look at the base. Look at the blue side. Four people, feathered airstrike, trying to take down Kyrie. A 1v1 that won't matter at all. Jay is alive. Marky will be alive in four seconds. Can miracles happen, no man? I don't think miracles will happen, but Kill VJ will take down Jay, and we're going to game number three. Exit crazy.